Hello children, welcome to Nelson School Online Education Program, Learn Better. In the previous two sessions, we have already started with the chapter direct and indirect speech, wherein we have cleared the terms, okay, four terms and the two main terms that is direct and the indirect speech. We have also seen the difference between the direct and indirect speech, okay. And even we have seen what are the reporting verbs and what are the reported verbs. So let us continue. So it's direct indirect speech. As you can see over here, we have already cleared direct and indirect speech. Difference between direct and indirect speech. Rules for the change in tenses. Now children, till here we have done in the previous two sessions. Before we could move forward with the rules for change of pronouns and possessive adjectives, I would like to start with the exception to rule 2. Exception to rule 2 means, as I have taught you already, that the reporting verb is said. Okay, the reported verb is supposed to be changed. But there are certain exceptions wherein the, though the reporting verb is said, the reported verb will not change. So these are the exceptions. For an example, if the statement of the direct speech shows you some universal truths like the earth revolves around the sun, okay, I can never say that the earth revolved around the sun, okay. It is a universal truth. If there are habitual facts like I prefer a cup of coffee every morning, so it's just a habit. Okay, or it could be the proverbs like honesty is the best policy, all that glitters is not gold. Okay, too many cooks spoil the food. Fine. So if they are the proverbs, universal truths or the habitual facts, the tense of the reported speech remains unchanged. Okay, it even remains unchanged when the, it, the direct, in, direct speech statement shows the state of affairs that still exists. Okay. For an example, I always wanted to try or just to go for the Bollywood movies. Okay, because you always wanted it. It's a thing that you yet need it. Okay, so we cannot change it. It's like I wanted. Okay, so let us start. If the reported speech expresses a universal truth or a habitual fact, the tense of the verb in the reported speech remains unchanged. Read number one, children. My father said, honesty is the best policy. Okay. So, our first step usually what we go for, it is said, underline the reporting verb, circle the reported verb. Okay. But see the statement, honesty is the best policy, it shows the universal truth. Oh, sorry, it shows the proverb. So, it won't change. Only I'll put comma, I'll just replace comma and put the conjunction that. So, it will be, my father said that, honesty is the best policy. Okay. You can see that the reporting verb is, is not changed. Next is, Sheena said, Meena goes for a walk daily. So first step as usual as I have told you, set is the reporting verb. Okay, underline the reporting verb and circle the reported verb. Now read the statement children. Meena goes for a walk daily. Okay, so it's a habit of Meena to go for a walk daily. So we will not change. So here the reported verb goes will not change to went. Okay, rather I'll only change the comma to the conjunction that. So it will be Sheena say that Meena goes for a walk daily. Next, if the reported speech describes a state of affairs which still exists, okay, when the speech is reported, its tense remains unchanged. As I told you that I always wanted to try for Bollywood movies. So it becomes here you see honey said. Okay, so first step is just to underline the reporting verb said. Go for the reported verb that is wants. To become, it will not change because it's a non-finite verb. Okay. So wants here will not change to wanted. Why? Because Manish wants it yet. Okay. It's a thing that he yet needs it. So it is. It's just a state of affair that is still existing. Okay. So it is honey set. Remove comma and put the conjunction that. And then write same thing. Manish M capital. Said Manish wants to become rich by winning a lottery. Next number C children, Meeta said, Ritu has a mingling nature. So it is report step, underline the reporting verb, okay, circle the reported verb. Now our reporting verb is children said, okay. Now read the statement, that is Ritu has a mingling nature, okay. It's a thing that is yet existing, it's a person's character that she is very mingling by the nature. That is not going to change children. So this also has, will never become had. Okay, so you will simply remove comma, put the conjunction that and you will, you are ready for the statement that is Meeta said that Ritu has a mingling nature. Next, Rohan said, Mohan lives in Delhi. 
So as usual, the first step is set. Underline the reporting verb set. Circle the reported verb lives. Now this shows what children. Mohan lives in Delhi and yet he is living. Okay, so I cannot say Mohan lived in Delhi. Why? Because he is yet living in Delhi. So it is Mohan set. Remove comma. Put the conjunction that Mohan's H capital and Mohan lives in Delhi. Okay. So I hope you understood the rule, the exception to rule 2. Okay. Thank you.